Carrie the movie did not make it into theaters, but it's getting top billing at the Supreme Court this week. The court will decide whether the scathing political production is a film protected as free speech or political advertising restricted by campaign laws. She is steeped in controversy, steeped in sleaze. Hillary Clinton, I know, is not equipped, not qualified to be our commander in chief. The bigger this campaign is, the bigger the choice is, the more trouble she's in. Conservative group Citizens United released the movie during the thick of the Democratic primary season, but the Federal Election Commission ruled that it violated campaign finance law and could not be aired or advertised on TV. Sam Youngman, the guy you see here, White House correspondent for The Hill, he's covered the court battle over this movie. I know, Sam, that a panel of judges already sided with the Federal Election Commission saying this was just a long campaign ad. So what issues will the Supreme Court look at? Right. Well, it's really one of those. I remember writing about this last year, as you said, right in the thick of the Democratic campaign. It has the potential to be one of those fascinating, really uh, campaign altering uh, First Amendment cases, because it's really another one of those gray areas that we saw uh, that we've seen raised by uh, McCain Feingold. Uh, oddly enough, uh, Ted Olson, who was a uh, solicitor general for uh, President Bush, argued successfully uh, in favor of the constitutionality of the law uh, back in 2003. Now he's on the other side with Citizens United arguing that this is, in fact, a uh, more of a documentary than a, than a political ad. I know that the, uh, the group that put this out said that they got the idea from watching um, some of these other political films, Michael Moore films that had been put up, like Fahrenheit 911. Um, and so they went forward with Hillary Clinton. I mean, why, why would this not be allowed? Well, I, I think the reason is because it's... it's the circuit courts ruled with with the FEC that said, "Look, this is just so one-sided. It's not it's not an actual documentary like uh, uh, Fahrenheit 9/11 was considered to be, uh, regardless of how you view that." But I think in this instance, they said, "Look, this is there's just no way. The narration, the tone, the characters, the people that are used to give but, testimony." But even if it was a just, even if it's a 90-minute long campaign ad, I mean, we saw Barack Obama buying uh, a long blocks of time on television. So so why not this? Well, in part because it's it's funded by corporate money. Uh, it, there, it's just, uh, without going into too many details, it really is just one of those uh, confusing gray areas where Barack Obama, the President Obama's campaign ad was allowed, this one isn't. All right, so uh, are the justices actually going to watch this movie? You know, I don't know. I, uh, I would imagine they'll probably take a look at it. Uh, <laughs> I, I would actually kind of like to see it myself. I haven't seen it. Sam, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go to Monica. She's at the satellite desk with a look at what else is making headlines this hour. Monica.